Good morning, Gilcrest Grizzlies, and welcome to Grizzly AM, your morning news show. I'm Red. And I am Kansas. Today is Thursday, April 26, 2018. Please stand for the morning pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Part of National Poetry Month, this is a special day. Be sure to have a poem in your pocket and share it with a friend, a teacher, or your family. It could be a poem you have written or a poem by someone else. Have several in your pocket so you can share the joy of poetry. Miss Gibson and Miss Spangler will be sharing poems all day in the Media Center. Come by to get a poem and then pass it on. It is now time our P uh, for our PBS winners with Miss Sumner. Good morning, Grizzlies. Today, we celebrate our fourth grade winners who were caught being respectful, responsible, safe, and being a team player. So without further ado, let's congratulate the fourth grade winners. Cole from Miss Adams' class, Callahan from Miss Gordy's class, Dylan from Miss Daly's class, Tegan from Miss Brown's class, Kyler from Miss Botini's class and Lori from Miss Williams' class. Make it a great grizzly day. Now it is time for the AR corner with Miss Crow. Good morning, Gilchrist Grizzlies. I'm so excited to share with you some superhero readers this morning. We are going to start out with a kindergartner from Miss Shelton's class with over 10 points and a comprehension average of 97%, getting his I Love to Read pencil, Harrison Schoff. Great job, Harrison. Look at that. You know, obviously, you love to read. You have two books with you right now. Great job. Well, enjoy that pencil. Good job, buddy. All right, from first grade, we're from Miss Accursio's class. Uh -oh, let me move this. Don't want anybody to trip over that. From Miss Accursio's class with over 25 points and an average of 83%, Nyla Russ. Great job, Nyla. Here's your bracelet. Turn around and smile. Good job. From Miss Donk's class with over 25 points and an average of 84%, Cameron Harris. There you go, Cameron. From Ms. Hall's class with over 25 points, an average of 81% Aaron Lowe. Hey Aaron, come over here where we can see your face. There we go. All right, good job. From Ms. Kerr's class with over 25 points and an average of 85%, Caleb Welch. Good job, bud. Turn around and smile. There we go. All right, from Ms. Dunn and Mrs. Mumford's class with over 50 points getting their keychain this morning, an average of 90% Arabella Burns. Good job, Arabella. Oh, thanks. Good job. All right, from Ms. Dunn and Mumford again with over 50 points, an average of 92%, Allie Sellers. Look at that smile. Good job. From Ms. Kerr's class, let's see, did Lucas get here? No, we'll get him next week. From Ms. Newland's class with over 50 points and an average of 81%, Melanie Echevarria. Good 
Good job, Melanie. Shake my hand with your right hand, your other one. There you go. That's how we do it. There's your keychain. Enjoy that. Another one from Ms. Newland's class with over 50 points and an average of 86%, Benjamin Hurst. There you go. Nice handshake. Hey, bud, don't you want your keychain? There you go. From Ms. Sell's class with over 100 points, I dropped his ribbon, his blue ribbon, an average of 91%, Reese Lawson. Great job, Reese. Wear that with pride. All right, some second graders. The first of many from Mrs. Leslie's class. I don't know, they've been doing a lot of reading in there. With over 50 points and an average of 86%, Bennett Bryson. Way to go. Good job, Bennett. From Ms. Leslie's class with over 50 points and an average of 89%, Connor Heron. Great job, Connor. Turn around, smile at that camera. Good job. Another one from Miss Leslie's class with over 50 points and an average of 82%, Hamilton LaSera. Great job, Hamilton. Look at you. <laughs> from Miss Mills class with over 50 points, an average of 87%, Ethan Whitfield. Great job, Ethan. Good job. From Miss Barano's class with over 200 points and an average of 88%, getting his water bottle here, Aston Kim. Good job, Aston. Enjoy that. From Miss, let's see, did Nayoon get here? Nope. So we're going to skip over to Miss Mills class with over 200 points again with 89% comprehension. Ryan Tillman. Great job, Ryan. Come over here. There we go. Look, we can barely see your face. There you go. All right. From Miss Barano's class with over 300 points, getting this cute little notebook. You know how, how much I like these. An average of 88%, Alden Weiss. Way to go, bud. Enjoy. Yeah, all right, yeah. From Ms. Leslie's class, another cute little notebook winner with over 300 points, an average of 92%, Kaylee Jeong. Great job. Y'all do any math in Ms. Leslie's class or you just read all day long? Yeah, you do some math though, don't you? <laughs> all right. All right, great job, Grizzlies. Have a super day. Thank you, Ms. Crow. Checking our grizzly weather station, we have a current temperature of 56 degrees and a projected high of 81 degrees. There is a 20% chance for rain. It is now time for the Principal's Corner with Mr. Souls. Good morning, Grizzlies, and a happy Thursday to everybody today. What a fantastic day today is. Today is Bring Your Children to Work Day, and Mr. Souls has two with him today. I've got Ben here, and Ben is a former Grizzly. He was at Gilcrest last year. He's in middle school this year, and I've got Sarah with me, and she's an eighth grader getting ready to be a high schooler next year, so this is her last year of Bring Your Children to Work Day, and I'm so glad that they're here with me. So if you see them throughout the day, give them a great Grizzly wave. And, of course, I wish everybody a great day. Everybody have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Souls. Our thought for today is a poem from Karma Wilson. There's a poem in my pocket right next to some lint and pennies and dimes that I haven't yet spent. A poem in my pocket to read to myself, not left in a book on some old dusty shelf. Words full of whimsy and wisdom and wit. If I read enough, then I'll never forget. I can keep it for me or better yet share it. I'll read it aloud. I'll shout and declare it. Pockets of posies will wither away. A pocket of poems I would take any day. Please join us again tomorrow for another edition of Grizzly AM. Have a great day. Bye.